Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yatsi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Wednesday. Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry says he is resigning as the country is overwhelmed by violent gangs. He's been unable to enter back into the country because gang violence has closed the main international airport in Port-au-Prince. Haitians here in South Florida expressing concern as they struggle to maintain contact with loved ones back home. Southern Command leaders are working on a contingency plan. They are anticipating mass migration to Florida. We are hearing from a victim who was airlifted to the hospital after a crocodile attack over the weekend. 68-year-old Rodrigo Constain was trying to swim to shore after his sailboat capsized in the Marina Basin when that crocodile attacked him. He said it will take him a few months to recover, but he still plans to go back out onto the water. I can tell you that every arrest that we make uh, is based on probable cause, that it's a legal standard. In fallout to a video you saw only on Local 10, it showed the controversial arrest of the son of a former Surfside commissioner. For the first time, the Surfside police chief speaking out about the arrest of Joshua Epstein, the son of former commissioner Eliana Salzauer. Epstein accused of pushing Vice Mayor Jeff Rose. Since his arrest, his mother, an outspoken critic of the Surfside mayor, has said it's politically motivated. And now to another exclusive story. Thieves breaking into a Pembroke Pines home and stealing a precious item. Maria Araya telling Local 10 someone took off with her safe and her husband's ashes. He died nine years ago. It happened near Pembroke Road and Southwest 68th Avenue. Araya says a few weeks ago she had hurricane impact windows installed in her home and she believes the crooks possibly climbed in through the window. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online at local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.